Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. It's crazy how fast these ones are going. They're very sought after right now because same day it came in, we had a customer come in and put money down on it. So we got more on order, but I want to show you this trailer because it's a sweet setup that we've got on it. But it's a 2023 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck with the dual swing out front tax. So we'll go through it, walk over some options we did to it, um, how it's all set up and see what you guys think. But starting right here, we've got our adjustable coupler. So that's gonna be able to level up and down and that way we can make sure you're riding as level as possible on that tow vehicle. We've got our safety chains, the battery breakaway cable. And then right now you'll see I have it plugged into our battery pack. That's so we can see how the lights operate on it. So in order to operate lights, you'll have to be either plugged into an external battery source, whether that is the tow vehicle, or if we are to put a battery on here, whether it's just the battery itself or for the hydraulic jack setup. So then underneath, we've got the manual crank jack right now. And then we've got our full size spare tire. So this one in conjunction with that adjustable coupler, we've got a 53 inch gooseneck drop. So that's coming from here down to the floor of the trailer. And that actually gives you a bit more clearance between the truck bed and the trailer. And that way, if you are going more rougher terrain, bigger potholes, stuff like that, less chance of getting into your truck bed with having that additional three inches on that gooseneck drop. Um, we just noticed truck beds were getting taller and taller as the years progressed. So we helped in turn get you riding that level as level as possible and then not being, you know, over stressing one axle over the other. So that's a 53 inch gooseneck drop on this one. Exterior color here is gonna be the charcoal metallic. So charcoal metallic, it's kind of like a gray, got some sparkle to it. It's a nice, nice gray. It's, it's a nice difference from just your standard white that we have. But right here on the tack rim, so you'll see right away, we've got our swing out saddle rack. Since this is a four horse, this trailer comes with four tiers of saddle racks, um, two on this one and then two on the other one on the other side of the trailer that we'll see when we get over there. The nice thing about these saddle racks, they are adjustable, so we can move these up and down. We can add additional for you if you wanted more than just the two. Uh, depending on your saddle size, we can fit up to four to five on these saddle posts. And the nice thing about these Cimarron saddle tiers, they actually redid these a few years ago. They've got this wither relief right here, and then having the carpet on them is actually gonna help keep these saddles from flying off the saddle rack while you're in transit and in motion. So I personally have a Cimarron and I have yet to have a saddle come off my saddle rack just because of this upgraded version that they did. And then this pushes back in with ease and that's on a gas shock. So and over here on our door, we've got our swing out blanket pull. So this swings out, this gives you more flexibility and capability of getting saddle, or pads from the middle, you know, layering them on there, just the ease of use being able to swing that out. And then down below, we've got our brush box. So brush box, I always keep my stuff I grab often in there. So my brushes, my fly spray, hoof pick, liniment, all of that stuff. And that way it's easy to grab. It's not rolling around on the floor in the trailer. And it's just right here for me to access. And then up above, we do have a window in this door too. And that way we can get that window opened up and, you know, get some airflow going in. So coming up here into the trailer, we've got our step. So that is something that we add. All of our inventory trailers that we order in, for the most part, are gonna have this step on them. And it just makes that ease of use a lot easier, being able to get in and out of this trailer. You're not having to find that small little side rail here. You've got this bigger step that is lower to the ground that you can step up in here on. So coming up here into the trailer, on that left side right away, we've got our partition wall. That partition wall's got carpet behind it. You got the bridle hooks going all the way down, um, two rows of it. So that carpet behind the bridle hooks, that is actually going to help prevent some of that swishing and swaying that the bridles will do in transit. And it's gonna help keep them in better condition and then keep your trailer in better condition as well. Back behind this saddle rack, it's a really good use of space here. So we've got a 25 gallon water tank behind that saddle rack. So usually that would be just a dead space. You know, you could probably stack a few things behind there. 
But in turn, we went and did that 25 gallon water tank. And that's just nice to have water on board, no matter where you're going, just in case you end up getting stuck somewhere, you can get your horses some water, get that to them. Um, if you got a finicky horse that doesn't like water from different places, you can bring some from home and then that way they're able to drink on the road and keep them hydrated. So above both doors, you will see LED lights. You've got a light switch on each side. So no matter what door on this tack room you're walking in, you're gonna have a light switch to be able to flip on so you've got lights coming into the trailer. Down here, we've got a three quarter length boot box. This opens up and inside it's got additional storage here. So I always keep my stuff that I don't use too often in the boot box. So, you know, my gallon of fly spray, my gallon of liniment, stuff like that, that I don't want rolling around in my tack room, but still want it on hand. I throw it in here and that way it's out of the way. And then that boot box doubles as a seat. Get your chaps on, get your boots on, all that spurs. You can also use it as a step to get up here into this gooseneck area. So up there in the gooseneck, you just have some additional storage space. You got two windows, one on each side. That way you can get those opened up, get some airflow ventilation going through here. And then up here on the roof, we actually have the bracing for an AC unit. So right here, we've got that bracing and that is the same footprint for either an AC unit or if you wanna get one of those max air fans put in here or a uh, vent in general. We've already got that bracing there for you, so we're not having to do aftermarket on there and be able to get that put up. And then right here, we've got a shelf with the lip on it. So that's got a little lip and that way, hopefully, depending on how crazy of a driver you are, um, nothing's gonna be flying off that shelf. You're gonna be able to keep it on there, get stuff up out of the way, get your hat up there, get your um, you know, hat box and stuff like that. And then down below, we've got our little bar in that bar, hang your show clothes, hang your polo wraps. I mean, just keep stuff off the floor, keep it in good condition with having the capability of doing that. And then right here, I did want to show this. We actually went and had them radius this corner here. And that way, if you're walking into this tack room, I know some people like I'm 5'9", I could easily hit that. And if that was a sharp corner, it's going to hurt pretty good. So having that radius on there is going to help prevent you from hitting your head too hard. You might still hit it, but not too hard. So then coming out here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got our four bus windows. So those open up part way and those are gonna open and that way you can get some airflow going through. You can just pick and choose how much airflow you want. And then we've got our four hooks down below. And then down here, we've got two 7,000 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. So it's aluminum wheels. I really like the look of this trailer, that charcoal metallic exterior, and then those black and silver wheels. It just puts the look together and makes it look really nice. And then up above there, we've got an LED light. And that way, if you're tacking, untacking in the dark, you've got that light you can get flipped on as long as you've got battery source to plug into um, and you can get your tack undone a lot quicker and easier. So coming around here to the back of the trailer, on these Cimarron's, they are an all aluminum trailer. They're gonna be one of your strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market. And then we also have our standard half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. That's got an R3 thermal value on it. And that's gonna be a little more heat regulating. So warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. Uh, it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So nice to have that come standard on it as well as the others on this trailer. So then on the rear here, we've got our 60-40 door opening. So 60 on that right side, 40 on this left side. And that just makes it easier for these 610 wide trailers to be able to just open one door and still get horses loaded in, but then have the capability, if you're like me and got some younger horses that are still getting seasoned on loading into the trailer, they want both doors open for that more open concept. So you can get both of them open and get horses loaded in here a lot easier too. So right here on the back, we've got our butt strap. So this is like a seatbelt material. Um, that's gonna prevent that last horse from backing out completely. If you are to open these back doors, I know some horses just like to shoot backwards and if you got them tied up and then the last horse, that's the last thing you want happening. So having that little safety feature comes in handy and then be able to get this undone. And coming up here into the trailer, we've got our dividers 
So we've got two partial dividers and then we've got a full stud divider. So the two partials come back and then up on that front one, we've got the stud stall. So having that stud stall comes in handy big time, especially because you've got a escape door on that first stall. So whether you've got a stud, whether you've got a horse that likes to step on its friends while you're in transit, um, or if you want to use that as a storage stall, you've got the flexibility to do so because of having that full length stud stall and not being able to, you know, if you do have stuff stored in there, your wheelbarrow, your um, hoof pick, stuff like that, it's not gonna be rolling back underneath those other horses feet. It's gonna keep it up there in that area. So then on these dividers, they are padded on both sides. So all three of them are gonna be padded on both sides and that's gonna help out big time with your lighter colored horses. So your Palominos, your grays, your paints, um, just the lighter coated horses. When they get to rubbing against that aluminum, they start to get hip stains and stuff. So when you're getting to a show and you pull your horse off the trailer and it's got that big stain on its, on its hip, that's what you don't want to happen. So the pad's gonna help prevent some of that from happening. And then also gonna give that horse some comfort as well. So then one thing I did wanna point out with these Cimarron dividers, I, I say this almost every time I do a video on a Cimarron because I absolutely love it how easy these latches are for these dividers here. So it just clicks into place, super quick, super easy. You're not having to mess with the pin. Me having young horses that are still getting comfortable and seasoned in a trailer, it's really easy to be able to, you know, get them into this front stall, get their hip over, push that with my hip, and they're set in place. They're not gonna be able to push back out and cause an accident or something to happen. So then up on that right hand side, you do have two LED lights coming across the trailer. And then above each stall, we've got our roof beds. So those roof vents, they push forward and they push backward. So you push them forward, they're gonna help draw that air in, push them back, help draw that air back out and just keep that consistent airflow going over the horse's heads and backs. So then on the rear, you do have another LED load light and then on a trailer like this, if you or your horse need to have that ramp on there, we can easily get one installed with our, our service department. Um, you know, we'd have to get the ramp on order and then once it gets here, get it installed. Our guys here do a fantastic job. They've been working on these Cimarron trailers for some time now, so definitely they do great work. So over here on the head side of the trailer, we've got drop downs on all four stalls, even the escape door stall. So I've got that open right now but when I get that shut up, I'll show you where that drop down is at. So these are wider angled drop downs. We've got our bus window in them too, so we can get those opened up and you know get a little bit of airflow. If you're you know starting out in the morning, this morning is kind of cold, but you still want some airflow for those horses, you can just pick and choose how much you want and then close this window back up. So that window, I don't know if you saw that right there, pops into place. So that's gonna prevent this trailer or those windows from slapping against the trailer while you're in transit. It's just gonna keep them down on the side, not spook the horses as much too. And then these jail bars, they do actually pop down too. And that makes it a lot easier. You're going on those longer road trips. You wanna offer some more feed. You wanna offer some water. You can easily do so without having to take horses off the trailer and, and potential for one to get loose. And then you've got issues trying to catch a horse and stuff. So being able to drop that down, fill up their hay bag, fill up their hay net, give them some water, just comes in handy big time. And then the other nice thing is you can step on the side rail here and then you can step up in and you can physically look at the horses, look at their legs, make sure they are good to go. We got another LED light up here. And that way, if you're tacking from either side of the trailer, that's what we love about this setup of this trailer. You've got tack access from either side. So no matter what side you're tacked on or your horse is standing on and you're trying to tack, you've got that access to be able to easily get in and out of the trailer. You're not having to walk all the way around the pickup to get into the tack room or all, right, all the way around the backside. Just makes life a heck of a lot easier. And then right here is our escape door. So that's the escape door going into that first stall. And that's what I was talking about. If you are using that as a storage stall instead of hauling four horses, uh, having this escape door from the outside 
you can easily grab stuff that you're needing while you're in transit. If you're going on the long trip or a long haul or whatnot, you're able to easily grab it and not have to pull horses off the trailer in order to get to it. So then that shuts up and you've got your drop down window in that first stall too. So over here on this tack room, same setup as that other side. So you've got the two tier saddle rack. Once again, we can add additional. Um, if you're anything like me, you've got more saddles than horses for some reason. That just seems to be a thing. Um, so we could easily get you some more tiers and that way you can have all your saddles on board with you and be able to take them all with you. And then this pushes back in. So those are on gas shocks. You've got the swing out blanket pull again, the, the brush box down below, and then an additional step getting up there into that tack room. So this trailer, we're gonna be sitting at 6'10 wide. We're sitting at 7'1 tall. And we are 23 feet on the floor. And then empty weight we've got on this one's 5,250 pounds. So, you know, always double check your tow ratings, but majority of your three quarter tons are easily gonna be able to tow this around your one tons, but always double check and make sure you're able to. So stock number that we've got on this one it's going to be 5N230049, and that's 5N230049. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. So the new Cimarrons, they will come with an eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper. So fantastic warranties on these trailers as well. If you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our lot or on our website, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call me at that number below. That's my desk phone. That's 303-684-3451. You can shoot me a text or give me a call to my cell phone at 970-218-5996. Or you can shoot me an email to Morgan, and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transwest.com. If you click the link below, it'll take you to this trailer on our inventory, um, our web pages inventory, and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business, and I hope you have a great day.